parents are not supposed to bury their children, and neither should teachers bury their students. Yet this year, we had to bid goodbye to our beloved student who was with us from kindergarten through eighth grade. In his senior year, Zachary Spore fought valiantly for his life, but God had other plans. What were we to do? How were we going to get through the devastation, pain, and loss? And what do we tell our children to do? So we looked at our mission and were reminded that the Torah is our manual, our blueprint for life. And by golly, Zachary would want us to do exactly what the Torah says. So we did. And we found that Judaism teaches us that the way to carry on the memory, the life, and the gift that a person leaves in this world is by continuing his good deeds. I know that Zachary was known for a lot of amazing attributes, but one that sticks out in many of our minds is his Jewish pride. He was determined to fulfill what he was taught, and he did just that. He didn't necessarily pick easy mitzvot or popular mitzvot. He wasn't worried how it would look. He didn't show off, and he didn't call attention to himself. He just simply carried out his responsibility. A parent of one of Zachary's friends wrote this in a condolence letter to Zachary's parents. It demonstrates the mission that Zachary took upon himself throughout his short life. I wanted to share a piece of Zachary that I came to appreciate. Zachary was a great influence on Tamar and a wonderful friend. I know that when she wanted to stop keeping kosher, it was Zachary who inspired her to continue. I know that when she felt frustrated by Jewish traditions or upset by one aspect or another of Judaism, Zachary was there to remind her why she should love being Jewish. So we at CJDS want to carry on that lesson he taught us, Jewish pride. We want to celebrate and recognize students and alumni who demonstrate actions that are uniquely Jewish. For this reason, we are establishing the Zachary Spore Jewish Pride Award to perpetuate his legacy. We will be accepting nominations throughout the year and then have a committee select the winner. This year, since we did not have time to request nominations, I dug into my archives of emails. I'm fortunate to receive emails from parents and teachers when children exhibit that innocent, untarnished love of Judaism. The committee could not choose all, and before I announce the winner, I would like to mention some others that were presented. Rebecca Lumelski chose to forego the next level of ballet so that she would not have to attend lessons and performances on Shabbat. Noah Salem contributed a Hanukkah card to the Observer for their holiday card contest, and trust me, was a minority. <laughs> Seth Rabinowitz created an All About Me PowerPoint slide for his class in public school and included his kippah and the logo for the synagogue his family attends. You can see that our children exhibit Jewish pride all over the city because they know that they are so fortunate to have received our precious heritage. The student that will be receiving the award tonight is an alumna of CJDS. She attends Carmel Middle School and was invited to a talk that would be given by a Holocaust survivor. It turned out she missed the talk because she was not feeling well that day. But she had been part of the classroom discussions and had a preview of what the talk was about. She was so moved by the experiences that this woman had to endure that she felt that she needed to reach out to her and assure her that faith in God and connection to the Jewish people will sustain her. I would like to read this letter to you and then call her up to receive the award. Dear Dr. Cherniak Spatz, I am very sorry, but I had to miss her appearance on Monday morning. I felt very fortunate when I thought I was still going to see you, but I'm sure that everyone enjoyed listening to you. I am also Jewish. I recently graduated from the Charlotte Jewish Day School. It was the best school. Ani smecha ma'od ki at saradit sho'ah. Ani ma'richa she'yesh bo modol kamoch. I always wonder why everyone, the Nazis, hated us. But us Jews have strong hearts. We need to stick together. Anachnu mishpacha, we are family. No matter what happens, I will always have faith in Hashem. My Hebrew name is Sarah. My name is also Sarah. It means princess. It is also one of the names of our foremothers. Sometimes we all need a Sarah in our lives. 
I think you had a Sarah with you while you were in the Holocaust. In honor of you and the few Jews that survived, I will thank Hashem for giving people a second chance at life and for making me a Jew. It's a pretty <coughs> exciting life. I feel special. I would like to ask you to never lose hope. Hashem can do anything for you, but he just doesn't go around giving second chances to random people. He gave a second chance at life to you. I bet you are very thankful. Thank God that we are here. Please remember me. And when you think of me, think of faith. When you think of faith, think of Hashem. When you think of Hashem, think of second chances. And when you think of second chances, think of you. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Never lose hope, never lose faith, always believe. Have a good life, Dr. Spatz, your co-choose, Sarah. Wow.